In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a simple animated breakdown inside of Unity. So yeah, let's get started. So I got this empty Unity scene here with these three sprites which I have created inside of Unity. So the first thing we need to do is create an empty game object here and let's name it Ragdoll. And I'm just gonna reset the transform here. So now let's just drag and drop this body to a Ragdoll game object and I'm just gonna scale it up a bit to something like this. Okay, so now our ragdoll needs this arm. So let's just quickly add this arm to our ragdoll. And also I'm just gonna scale it up to something like this. And let's zoom in a bit and here. I think it looks good. So let me just quickly duplicate this and place them at the correct position. Okay, so the only thing missing here is the head, so let's just quickly go ahead and give our ragdoll its head. And let's just drag the head over the body and let's make it, make it a bit bigger. Okay, so this kind of looks dumb, but yeah. Okay, so now our ragdoll is kind of ready, so the next thing we need is to add colliders. Select all the body parts except for the head and let's just add colli a box collider 2D here and now select the head and just give it a circle collider 2D. Now select all the body parts and add rigid body 2D component. And lastly let's just leave the body here and select them all again and add this hand joint 2D. Well, it already looks good, except for the head here. So grab the head here and that let's just select all the game of all the body parts here, except for the body, and let's just drag and drop this body to this connected rigid body slot here. Okay, so now we can just go back to our head here and let's go to the hand joint 2D and disable this auto configure joint here. Well, actually disable this for all the game objects of course except for the body here. Let's go ahead and disable this and let's go back to our head. And I will change this the position of the uh, connected anchor here and also the anchor itself. So I'll place it somewhere around here. Let's just change the connected anchor position and okay. So it kind of looks good. Well, now our rigid ragdoll is complete. So let's just go ahead and try it out. Let's go ahead and actually test this. Awesome, so everything is working just fine. We can play around with this and drag it wherever you want, do whatever you want to do with and it kind of looks good. So yeah. So now that we have created our ragdoll here, we also need to animate it. So let's go to this animation tab and let's just create uh, animation here. I'll call it wave. I want my rag ragdoll to wave at me. So let's just select the arm here, the arm and make sure you hit this red button make to make sure it's recording. Okay, place it somewhere around here. I'll just make a quick and simple wave animation and place it here. And let's just change the z axis. How oh, well it kind of looks snappy. To make it more smoother, we need to make the first keyframe of our animation similar to the last one. So let's just copy and paste this 
at the end. So now if we hit play, it kind of looks good. So yeah, let's just go ahead and stop the recording here and start playing this. Okay, as you can see, oh, well, he has come to life somehow and he is starting to dance. <laughs> Well, we don't want our ragdoll to do that. So let's just go back and select all of our body parts here and go to the rigid body 2D component and change the body type to kinematic. Let's go back to our ragdoll and let's add a capsule collider here. 2D. So I'm just gonna adjust the size of our collider here. Drop it and here it looks good. So now let's go back to our body parts here. Let's just select all of them once again and make sure you deselect the head and let's just disable this box collider 2D component, select the head again and let's disable this circle collider 2D. So let's select our ragdoll here and add this rigid body 2D component to our ragdoll. And the other thing is just freeze this uh, rotation here. So enable this freeze rotation and we can just go ahead and hit play now. Okay, so now our ragdoll can stand and just wave at me. We can move it around here. And yeah, it will do just fine. So we have now the animated ragdoll here, but I want it to die or do something and become a zombie. So let's just let's go to the ragdoll and add component here, and let's make a new script. And I'm gonna name it ragdoll script. So hit create and add. Let's wait for the script to load. Okay, so once the script is loaded, open it up inside of Visual Studio. The first thing we need is an animator. So let's make a private animator here and our widget body 2D. And let's just make a public game object uh, array of our body parts here. And go to the start method and get the animator component. Get component animator and also do this for the widget body 2D. We got this rigid body 2D here. Let's go down and let's make a new method here. So I'll call it some something like make it zombie or something. Yeah, you can call it whatever you want. So let's call this in the update method. We don't want it to call it every frame, so I'm just gonna go and put in a condition here. And so when we hit the space here, we will call this function. So inside of this method, we will say disable this animator component here and also we want to also we want to get the collider 2D component I mean whatever collider our uh, transform or the game object actually has So let's just change it to game object uh, Run, so the next thing we need to do is run a for loop here to starting from 0 and to the length of our body parts so we will get the rigid body component of each of our body part and it's set the is kinematic to false and we will also get the colliders of our body parts here and set them to true So yeah, that's basically it. Let's just go back to inside of Unity. Let's wait for the script load here. And let's select the ragdoll. And we need to give the body parts here. So let's just lock it here and select all the body parts. And let's assign these to this area here. So now let's unlock it and 
we can actually play this okay so it looks good so okay everything looks everything looks good okay so let's see actually what happens when we hit a space here okay so our animated ragdoll becomes a zombie so we can just drag it around here and yeah do stuff so let's just go back and select the ragdoll here and the next thing we need to do is um, I don't know what else do we need to do let me just think well yeah let's just make a bullet here so I'm just gonna drag and drop this circle inside of the scene here and place it somewhere around here so and I'm just gonna make it red yeah this looks good so I'm gonna name it bullet Okay, so let's add the bullet script to our bullet. Yeah, and wait for it to load here. And we also need to add another rigid body 2D component to this bullet here. Not another. So, and we will change the body type to kinematic here because I don't want my bullet to be falling down when we start playing the game. So let's open up the bullet script here inside of Visual Studio. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make a public reference to the speed here and a private reference to the rigid body 2D of our bullet. Okay, so inside of the start method, I'll get the rigid body component of our bullet here and I will add the force to our bullet in the start method so transform dot right actually not let's not make it transform let's make it vector 2 dot right and multiply by the speed so yeah that's all we need to do where to stop i just want let me just make another if condition here so get key down key code dot space so whenever we hit space we want the bullet to launch and not at the start method so let's just control X here, control X and just place it here. So let's go back to the ragdoll script here and what I want to do is to make a on collision enter 2D method here and inside of this method. I'm gonna check if the game object that has hit our ragdoll is the bullet and if it is the bullet I want my ragdoll to become a zombie or die or do something like this so yeah so let's call this make it zombie method here and remove this condition from the update method so that's all we need to do so let's go back inside of unity and let's wait for the script to load here let's hit let's select the bullet and add a tag here so the tag we want to add is bullet so let's select our bullet again and assign this tag to our bullet so yeah that's it hit save and let's set the speed to something like 2500 I think it will do just fine so let's just hit play here and now let's just drag it a bit down and if I hit space here nothing happens I don't know something is wrong so let me just check what's wrong so let's go back to the bullet script and I don't think anything is wrong with this script so no nothing's wrong so let's just let's just go back to the unity 
okay oh yeah okay so i also need to change the body type inside of our uh, bullet script so when i hit a space i want is kinematic to be false yeah so that's all we need to do so let's hit play here wait for it to load okay drag it a bit down and if i hit a space now well, you can see the bullet goes and it goes through our egg door so yeah i all forgot to add circle collider to our bullet here so if we hit play now let's drag the bullet down and let's just space here okay so now when the bu bullet hits our ragdoll it becomes a zombie and or he dies yeah whatever so you can also just make the bullet disappear when it hits and do any uh, anything you want so that's basically it for this tutorial if you have any questions or any comments or anything just leave them leave them down in the comment section and until next time see you